Hi there, it's Eugene. So, it is snowing and chilly outside. Thus, I haven't showered. <laughs> Just getting work done today, hanging out. So, uh, I have some thoughts to share with you and thought I would do it on a video. Uh, I was talking to Paul earlier today about another business apparently in Michigan that is refusing to serve anyone that's gay or provide services to anyone that's gay and I'm assuming that's gay, transgender, uh, lesbian, etc. I have a lot of thoughts on this, obviously being gay, but this is not coming from a place of like trying to change anybody's views necessarily. This is just sharing my own perspective and my own experiences because I think the more we share who we are, the more we can educate other people that are scared or that um, have really negative closed off viewpoints that create judgment and division in society and amongst people. So I wanted to share a little bit about my story. I think I knew when I was 10 years old that I was gay or special or different from most people in society. And that was in 1983s in Tucson, Arizona. So it was definitely not something that I heard about or even knew what the word meant, although I was kind of made fun of in school beginning and around age 10, I would say. And that word was thrown around, although I still didn't really understand what it meant. <laughs> so I grew up in a very strict, conservative, Republican, Christian home. My mother and father were very involved in the church. And there were moments of the church that were wonderful. A lot of the people, my friends, uh, Christian arts camp and youth group and choir and music. And my mom led the congregation and was in the choir. My dad was an elder. And so there was a lot of fun. But as I became older, then it started to dawn on me that basically what I was feeling inside and who I am and was at that time was wrong, a sin. I was going to hell. I was not worthy of love because I was attracted to the same sex. So then the shame started to really built in. And then I had a lot of challenge and a lot of struggle throughout my teens and my 20s due to that. But anyway, when it comes to being gay, I know there's a lot of thoughts out there, especially with religion, that the Bible says it's wrong. It's in the scripture. Well, I've read the Bible. I went to a Christian school. I grew up in the church. I even went to a Christian college for a year. I even took a Bible class. I know exactly what it says. But I have to say this. There are many books out there and many religions and many faiths. And some of them put Jesus as the Savior. Some don't. And my issue and my problem with that is that Whoever said to you that your way was the only way, just because a book written by man says that, or the interpretation says that, does not mean that that's the truth. None of us will really know what the truth is until we transition. So trying to push those views on each other and say that another human being is wrong because it's different than from what you believe is very arrogant, very judgmental, and very closed-minded. And really, that's the level of losing out on the majority of life due to that. And so we've got all of this conflict still, even in 2015, where people saying, it's just not right, it's wrong, the Bible says it. Well, Maybe you need to start listening to who you really are on a core level and trying to figure out what's right and wrong rather than just basing it on a book or because someone told you. So, you know, I had to face it or I chose to face it because I am gay. And when my mother died when I was 23, I decided I'm not going to hide anymore. I'm going to decide to be myself because life is short. So I educated myself. I studied Kabbalah. I studied Mormonism. I studied unity. I studied Judaism. I studied science of mind. And of course, I had the Christian bring, uh, bringing up, so I pretty much knew who that was about. I started reading spiritual books from Wayne Dyer and Shakti Gwain, Deepak Chopra, all of these different authors, Eckhart Tolle. And what I started realizing was that what matters in this life from the teachings that 
that I discovered was A, we're all connected on a soul level, on a spiritual level beyond this physical body, and that we all come from the same place, whether you want to call that source, God, universe, higher power. But I, what I realized was whether in this lifetime you're gay, you're straight, you're bisexual, you're transgender, you're lesbian, you're questioning, whatever you identify as to experience in this physical realm, that on a core level, none of it really matters once you leave this realm anyway, because then you're just energy and you're in spiritual form. So for all of you that think that God is some man standing in a robe and Jesus is sitting next to him on a throne and they're, you know, determining who comes into the kingdom of God based on sins, I think is completely ridiculous. I'm sorry, but I do. Because what people are telling me is that I'm wrong for loving and living and spreading joy on this planet and for finding out who I am and being true to who I am. And then I have people saying, no, I won't do this because you're wrong. And half of them don't even educate themselves anyway. So just something to think about, guys. You know, you can believe what you want to believe. I don't care what you believe. But Christians that say that the Jews are wrong, the Mormons are wrong, the atheists are wrong, the gays are wrong, the Democrats are wrong, come on. Maybe you need to look at yourself and decide why you believe this and why you would think that you're better than everybody else just because you say, I believe in Jesus. I believe Jesus was here, trust me, and I believe he was a really cool guy and part of the great divine plan. But don't put him on a pedestal, really. Put yourself up on a pedestal. You have great things to do. And I think when he said, love yourself, Love thy neighbor as yourself. Is love yourself as the higher power loves you, but the higher power is not above you. It's a power. We call it higher power, but it's it's greater than what we are here, possibly, but it's not better than. That's what we're doing in society is we keep putting each other on pedestals, tearing each other down, and then ridiculing each other out of fear and out of ignorance and out of judgment. So I just needed to express this. <laughs> you don't have to agree with it. But I do ask this. If you're going to respond to things that I post, don't be nasty and don't be negative. Because A, I'll delete the post and I most likely will block you. Or delete me as a friend. Because I only want love and joy. And you can you can have opinions, of course. It's not just my way, obviously. That's what I'm saying. But I don't like negativity. So... Have a wonderful day, and maybe this will help somebody think about stuff, okay? Love, live now. Remember, that's my saying. Bye.